Hi everyone, my name is Hamza Tahir and today we're going to be running through a new feature of XenML which is the step operator. The step operator defers the execution of individual steps in a pipeline to specialized runtime environments that are optimized for machine learning workloads. This is helpful when there is a requirement for specialized cloud backends for different steps. One example could be using powerful GPU instances for training jobs or distributed compute for ingestion streams. And that's exactly what we're going to showcase today. We're going to run through a simple pipeline with three steps that will have a training function in the middle, which we will outsource to one of the three big cloud providers, uh, managed ML platforms. Those are Azure ML, Amazon SageMaker, and GCP Vertex AI. So let's get right into it. The first thing we do is look at our pipeline in code. So as you saw in the diagram, we have three steps and the training step is a, a simple step as you're already used to if you're a user of CNML, but with a special parameter in the step decorator. This parameter is called the custom step operator and it takes a string that is the name of the step operator you want to use. So if you want to configure the step operator, what you'll have to do is put it as part of your stack. And this has to be done via the CLI. So we can just open our CLI and create the stack. Um, I've already done this step before this video, so I can just set this stack to be active. If you want to learn how to make the SageMaker training stack for your own SageMaker instance, then please feel free to follow the guide that will be in the show notes. And after setting it active, I can simply run the pipeline as always. And now XenML will figure out that this pipeline, um, the first step of this pipeline is going to be run locally because we are still using the local orchestrator. Um, so it's still gonna work locally, but the training step it will pick up has to be outsourced to SageMaker just as it's happening right now. Of course, there's a need to create a Docker image for that. So uh, we will automate all of that away. So now we're building up the Docker image and at some point it will push the Docker image to the registry and start a job just like we did here. Now this job, if you go over to the SageMaker console on your browser, you will be able to see running and in progress. So if you keep refreshing at some point, it will get completed. So. That's the first example. Uh, you can see a whole bunch of logs here and we can just pause for a second, wait for it to complete and come back and run the next cloud. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so as you can see, after a few minutes, the status is completed and now we used an ml.m5.large instance to actually run this job successfully on Amazon SageMaker. Let's run the same pipeline on Azure ML. If you go back to PyCharm, and we switch our stack to the Azure ML training stack, where which I've already pre-configured, then it will switch over the step operator function to the Azure ML training stack, and then we can run the pipeline, uh, same as before, exactly the same command, the same pipeline, and you, it would now do the same as we did before, but this time run it on the Azure ML training stack. And as always, we can just pause a second and come back to when this training step actually launches on Azure ML. It takes a few minutes, but I'll show you how it looks like in Azure ML in a second. All right, we're back at the Azure ML dashboard and you can see that a new experiment with the MNIST pipeline has launched and it is now uh, queued. If you refresh it, we can actually see what's happening and this will be completed in a second. So let's just wait for the environment to build and see the result. Okay, we're back. So the status is completed and we finished the job successfully on Azure ML. Now let's quickly go over to Vertex AI, our last cloud provider, and run the pipeline on the Vertex training stack. We're gonna do the same as before, set the Vertex training stack to active and run the pipeline now on the Vertex training stack. And we're gonna see in a second that the importer step again will run locally, but the training step will be outsourced to Vertex AI and that will start in a second. There you go. Then I'll see you on GCP. All right, 
So as you can see on the GCP console, we have a new job in the training of Vertex AI. And if I click into the job, then I would be able to see that the status is finished. We used an N1 standard for instance uh, in this case, and the training has finished uh, quite quickly. So now if we go back to our PyCharm, we would be able to see that the script that we just ran just finished. We have successfully ran the same pipeline and outsourced the training step to all three big cloud providers with a simple configuration and some commands on the CLI. If you're interested to see how this feature works in more detail, please do check out the docs of ZenML, that's docs.zenml.io, or check us out on the GitHub. And if there are any problems, then do raise an issue or join our Slack channel to talk to us directly. If you do end up being on the GitHub, don't forget to give us a star. And if you like this video, give us a like and subscribe. We are going to be building a lot more videos in the future and your like and subscription would tell us that we're doing the right thing. Thank you very much. And until the next time, bye.